Oh look, a rainbow. This is the, uh, wow, a one weird sky. Wait till I turn around. It is strange looking. Look at that. Isn't that weird? It's beautiful though, but it is really freaky. Look at my van so I can do a full turnaround. Well, that's not good. Last night's storm tore off a vent cover. Yeah, the floor's wet. But thank goodness I didn't have my new floor down yet. Oh, man. Oh, last thing I want to do is install a new vent today. I gotta work. Shoot. Today is Sunday, June, two, June 9th, 2019, and it is freaking hot in here. Yeah, it's pretty hot. And that's with the rear air running. There's no way I can run the roof air at this level. And yes, this voltmeter is accurate. So... The power on this site is very low. This isn't actually a site anymore, but it had power. Okay, so what I have done, built a shelf under there, and I've already moved some of my pots, my bakeware stuff, from my motorhome into here. And then this bottom area, I'm going to clean it out, you know, wash up the floor a little bit, and then put some stick-on tiles so that I can put some other stuff down there and clear up a lot of space in the motorhome and here it won't be hogging up space because there's a dedicated part for it. I have also been working, trying to work on getting the new roof vent in since that one got damaged but it's just been so hot I can't get up on that roof for very long and today no <laughs> not in these temps. No way. That thing says it's 105 outside. It feels like it. Okay, tomorrow or the next day, I have somebody lined up to come and cut the closet opening wider so that I can utilize that for my microwave and toaster oven. And back here in the bedroom or the bathroom, he is going to move this wall over because that's three inches of wasted space. So he'll move, he'll move that over. And then I will have a wider opening here. So that'll work. Okay, and he's going to install my faucet and fix the leak under the sink. I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> So he will do that for me. He's more experienced at that stuff. And I will do the floor over here myself. Fun, fun. But he gave me some tips on what to do. So that's good. Okay, I'm going to clean that floor and then I'm out of here till 
a few hours from now because it's just too freaking hot. Yeah, there's my door. <laughs> so I do have to make new doors. So there's the bathroom closet door there. And there is the kitchen closet door over there. Seems like I get things cleaned up and then I turn around and clutter it right back up again. Okay, I'm going to clean the floor. There's just no way of coming in here and spending more than a few minutes at a time. It's a shame that the power is so low on this site and that I can't use the roof air. But, oh well, at least I'm getting a little bit done at a time. What I did now was uh, I have these little really inexpensive floor tiles that came from the family dollar store. It has like 20 tiles for 10 bucks or something like that. Ridiculously cheap, but I didn't need anything more expensive than that for this job. So I went ahead and cleaned up and tiled under that section of the cabinet. And then, of course, that section got the shelf paper. So I'm not too sure what to do with doors yet. I don't know if I'm going to make some wooden panels or if I'm just going to hang like fabric there for now. I might just go with the fabric and do the panels later. We'll see. Just uh, so I can get in here quicker. But I like the way the kitchen's turning out. That is really cool. I need to come in here and bomb it when I close it down for the night, too. As I'm, <laughs> there's spiders in here. I don't want spiders. <laughs> Today is Monday, June 10th, 2019, and uh, it's about 4 in the afternoon. Power is a little bit better today, which is good. Of course, it's 90 degrees versus 100 degrees. Let's see what it is in here. Okay, <laughs> 95. I have the rear air going. It doesn't feel like 95 in here, though. I have the rear air going and front fans going. And I had my cabinet door cut wider. It's considerably wider. So that's really going to make a difference. And I think what I'm going to do is... Of course, here's the door. And it won't fit now, right? Okay, my plans are to add some kind of mesh. Um metal mesh screening on this and that will allow any heat or anything inside this closet to escape when I use the microwave and um, use the toaster oven because I just can't close them in a closet like that and expect everything to be hunky-dory. I had them leave this because I'll still be using part of that door and this won't interfere with the usage of those appliances. So that's a good thing too. Okay, now let's go to the bathroom. Well, let's not go to the bathroom. Let's go into the bathroom. <laughs> Silly. Okay, so this one is now three inches wider. That will help. And we got the new faucet on. Yay! And uh, the plumbing should be fixed. Let me go get a tub and turn this on and see what happens because I just turned the water on outside. I'll have a bucket underneath it. Let's see what happens. Ew, that's gross! And we don't get any more water. Okay, that's a new faucet, so I can't say the faucet itself is clogged. Might be because I have the toilet turned off. I don't know what lines run with what. That's interesting. Uh, 
or maybe, I don't know. I have to figure that one out. Yeah, we leak. He said it might do that. So, hmm, I can't have a leak. Okay, got to figure this out. But the water's not flowing anyhow. That's a lovely mess. And this is a metal sink, not a plastic one. And the reason it leaked is because it's all rusted out under there. Let me get light here. So yeah, that's rusted out. So I will work on that later and figure out what to do. See if it's going to need a gasket or... Of course it should have a gasket on it. See where the leak's coming from. Okay, it looks like there's a hole over there. Oh yeah, that's not good. Okay. So I can either seal that off or get a new sink. At least I know, right? Ah, oh, mosquitoes got in here. Okay, so now we have a 17 inch opening. Quite the difference. I think it was 12 inches before. So that's quite the difference. Let's go see what the bathroom is. And the bathroom's about a hmm, little less than eight and three quarters. And I will have to fill in the top up here and the bottom down here. He just took and moved the whole wall over, which works. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Mosquitoes are getting me.